a cold rainy day in North Carolina is the perfect time for some white bean and kale soup. So now I'm just sauteing some bacon in the bottom of my pot. I'm not a chef. I just cook the way I cook. I don't measure anything. And that's the guy's honest truth. This is a whole white onion that I'm just adding to the pot now. You use less. Use whatever you like to your taste. But now we're going to cook that. Let it saute just a little bit. It's looking and smelling delicious. I added a, oh, you can't even see, it's fogged up. But I added a good heap of garlic, crushed garlic, because I love garlic. I added my dry beans, white beans, whatever white beans you like, and water to the pot. And I'm going to add three bouillon cubes, chicken, chicken bouillon cubes, garlic powder, onion powder, even though I already have onion and garlic in there. You add whatever you like. Paprika, and probably a little bit of pink sea salt. Not very much, but just enough to add that uh, pro uh, profile. Again, I'm not a chef. I cook what I want to cook. I don't use no recipe. I cook the way my grandma did. And if you want to try it, this is a recipe I use. But if you don't want to try it, that's okay too. But I'll come back and show you what the beans look like. Again, I have an Instapot, but I like cooking beans slowly. They have so much more flavor. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean up while my beans simmer. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So now that the beans are completely ready, I pureed a half a cup of beans to give it a thicker consistency consistency now the soup is perfectly fine without doing this you can use pureed beans you can use heavy cream you can use milk but see how the consistency changed so now it's like a creamy soup and I like mine to be creamy so I purchased this kale at the grocery store today and I just remember, I have kale in my freezer from my garden from the summer. But I'm going to use this because I already opened the bag. But I wish I had remembered I had that kale in the freezer first. So now I'm going to add my kale to my beans. And what I'll do is just add the kale slowly. Let it cook a little bit until I've added the entire bag. I'm going to let it simmer just a few minutes so that the kale is tender. Then you can add as much kale or as little kale as you like, but I love kale, so I add a lot. And this is the finished project. Doesn't this look delicious? I'm about to serve up a bowl of this right now. <laughs> 